Good morning, Rockets. Happy New Year. Welcome back. Today is Monday, January 4th, 2021. This week, we continue our Epiphany celebration by hearing more about Epiphanies in the Bible. The prophet Isaiah tells us of a child who will be born and will bring great light and joy. The child will bring peace, justice, and righteousness to the world. Today, we remember St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, who is the patron saint of Catholic schools. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. You're reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. But there will be no gloom for those who were in anguish. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness, from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Think about this silently in your heart. How is Jesus like a wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace? Please join me in praying our morning offering. O oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. For all the intentions of your sacred heart, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. St. Raymond Anatis, pray for us. St. Clair of Assisi, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America. And I want to express my great joy in welcoming all of you back to 2021. Pray that we have a year full of hope and love and peace. As we come back, just a reminder, we're still in the midst of a pandemic, so we want to make sure that we're following all of our protocols so that we can remain in school. So when you enter the building, you hand sanitize, you wash your hands throughout the day, keep our mask on above our nose and over our mouth, um, and watch our distance. So thank you for all your continued efforts with that. And then we have a couple of birthday announcements. Yesterday we had three birthdays. Colin Condren in first grade, Cameron Jurisic in eighth grade, and Rudy Mihalich in third grade. So happy birthday to the three of you. And then we have a couple of half birthdays. These are 4th of July babies here. Lauren Armington in first grade, Alex Flood in fourth grade, and Jenny Leonard in sixth grade. So happy half birthday to you guys. If you purchase the Oktoberfest dress down, next week is the last week um, to be able to dress down. That's all the announcements. Everybody have a fantastic day. I encourage you to use your words and actions to rise to greatness.